to my channel. Today's video is going to be a BBL Q&A experience um, just video. I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions on what you guys wanted to know regarding my BBL and just the experience itself, um, the healing and everything that you guys wanted to know regarding my plastic surgery. When I first did my announcement that I was going to be getting a BBL, I also showed you guys the journey. I will have all of those videos linked down in the description box if you guys want to check those out. But I did mention that I wanted to do a video like three or four months after just to kind of show you guys what my body looks like and if I'm in love with it, if it was the biggest mistake of my life or whatever you guys want to know. So I'm super excited. I've actually been contemplating and wanting to like contemplating and just really excited about sharing this video with you guys. Um, just to answer all of your guys' questions, all of your guys' concerns, or all of your, for any of you guys who are trying to get a BBL that want more information. If you guys are not about plastic surgery or anything like this, um, please do not corroborate with any negativity. If you just don't like it, if it's not for you, then that's fine. Um, there's people who actually, you know, do like plastic surgery and so on and so forth. So just let's keep this a very friendly Base. okay guys like let me just throw out a little disclaimer there because i know there's a lot of people who don't agree with it and that's completely fine um but yeah i wanted to do it on a blank you know background and screen just so you guys can actually be able to see the before and afters because i am going to be showing you guys a lot of before and after pictures and just kind of how i look now with video and all that stuff so i wanted to make sure that there was a clean space around me so we can really focus on the big picture here but I did go on Instagram to ask to have you guys ask me questions. So I'm going to go right in, right straight into those questions. I haven't separated any of the questions. I'm just going to go as I see them pop up and just let it roll. But if you guys are interested in watching this video, then just keep on watching. So the very first question that I see is, are you completely satisfied with the results? And I honestly feel like I ended up turning like I ended up looking exactly how I imagined myself looking so um there was never just like oh the highest expectations to look a certain way like I literally wanted something supernatural I wanted something that um made me feel like the old me you know when I first before I started having babies you know just a flat stomach and you know a little bit of like some curves and that was pretty much it my butt did end up being obviously a little bit bigger than when I thought I did think that I was going to lose way more fat than I actually did because if you guys are not familiar with the procedure itself when you get a BBL they transfer fat from your body into your uh, butt and basically you can lose a lot of that fat if you're sitting or if just in general it won't grab or um, you do tend to lose a good percentage of fat I actually conserved most of it like I kept most of the fat that was transferred so that was something that I, I guess I didn't really expect. I thought that it was going to be a lot smaller, but I'm completely like satisfied with it. I don't feel like it looks bad at all. I don't feel like it looks exaggerated. If you meet me in person, I don't think that I look like I got operada or anything. Like I don't feel like if you saw me in person, you would think like, oh, she has a BBL. Like I feel like it just looks a little bit rounder, you know, but I am completely satisfied with it, guys. I love how everything turned out. Like I mentioned to you guys, this journey was for myself. It was never for anybody's approval or anything like that. It was just for me to feel good about me. And I do, I feel really good about myself. I feel amazing and I feel like I'm just genuinely happy with how everything looks and feels and everything. Like it's, it's good. Um, the next question, do you regret doing it or wish something was done differently? I actually don't regret doing it at all. I probably would never do it again um, just because I've always been very scared to get put under. That's like the fear part. If I didn't have to get put to sleep, I probably would be doing a bunch of random shit. No, but I just really get a lot of anxiety towards that. Um, but as far as like if something was done differently, no, I feel like I went really good with the size of my boobs. Um, I also got a lot of questions, which is probably in here now that it's going with just this question did it, if i wish i would have done something different a lot of you guys asked me if i regret not doing a tummy tuck and i actually do not regret not doing a tummy tuck i never wanted a tummy tuck since the beginning i specifically wanted i even said to myself like if i had to get a tummy tuck i would have never gotten lipo 
in general i would have just kept myself the way that i was because originally it was just going to be my boobs anyways but i'm glad that the option of liposuction with no actual you know tummy tuck was an option and i'm completely completely happy with the outcome i definitely do feel like my waist would have been way tighter my stomach area would have been way tighter if i would have gotten a tummy tuck because they would have had to remove a lot of excess skin but i feel like that's what keeps me natural like if i'm sitting like i'll have like a little bit of a lonjita and stuff but it's nothing like how it looked like before like there's no big bulgy stomach or hanging skin or anything like that on my stomach area if i sit i can sit pretty and like i just have like a natural just a natural like fat to my stomach like it does it looks tight i don't know how to explain it, it looks tight but it doesn't look like i'm fat if that makes sense like before like i used to have like a, a stomach you know um so that all turned out amazing and like i said it looks really natural like it doesn't look like i was just super halada and on top of that i like to wear crop tops so i'm wondering if i would have gotten a tummy tuck if my belly button would have just looked way different because for people who are not familiar with tummy tucks they do you know pull your skin down so then they have to like sculpt your belly button and then that's where you get like the belly buttons that looks really long and stretched out um so that was something that i also wanted to avoid you know and that's just per preference like this is in no way shape or form shading anybody it's just me personally my preference of how i wanted my body to look like i want it to look natural i didn't want to look like i was I got plastic surgery, you know, that's always just been me. I never, I've never wanted to gravitate towards that look, which everybody has their opinions because I know there are a lot of people that think that I look fake now and then there's a lot of people who think I look really natural. So it all just depends, you know, but for me personally, I love that my belly button still looks the same, that I didn't have to go through the healing of a tummy tuck, which is super, 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 super hard on you. And I like, I give props to the girls who have gone through tummy tucks. Like I gotta give it to you because i am such a little bitch and i probably would not be able to go through that um but yeah i'm I, there's nothing that i would have done different like i feel really good with how everything like turned out so even the same thing with implants i'm glad that i did not do an implant i'm glad that um i ended up just doing like my own breast tissue they look really natural they look bouncy they look like how they did just up you know they don't they're not sad anymore like they used to be uh pain level from a one to a ten i feel like my pain level was probably like a three or four and that was i mean i was on medication but that was only for the first few days but as far as like pain level i honestly have to say like it was not that bad at all i've always said that my gallbladder removal was way worse than the pain that i experienced my breast i had no pain no pressure because i had no implant um i had no pain the you know the scar everything like there was just absolutely nothing my breasts were like i didn't even get anything done i felt more pain around my waist because it felt kind of like it was stretching obviously all the lipo and stuff um but pain level it's very doable like i didn't experience very much pain but also guys i do have a very high tolerance for pain so that's just something to consider if you're somebody who does not deal with pain well your experience might be completely different um would you recommend a bbl for someone who doesn't have kids i probably like this is how i feel about it so if you don't i would be like do it do what you got like if you want to do it do it um i would a hundred percent like encourage it if you want to do it like you know what i mean like enjoy it enjoy being single enjoy twerking that ass like enjoy being snatched as fuck at the age that you want to be snatched you know um i do feel like you will snatch back but i also feel like you're not going to be as snatched as when you did it when you didn't have kids so i just wouldn't be able to go through like multiple multiple surgeries like over and over and over and over again to fix something because i decided to have like kids and stuff like in between surgeries um but if you're young and you're trying to do it and you want to do it before kids like your body actually will look better i believe than when you have kids because now you have like good fat and stuff like there's nothing that has been stretched out um nothing i know that my doctor explained something to me that when you give birth like obviously like your stomach your stomach has like two muscles it opens so then to make that muscle go back in place is like nearly impossible unless you obviously get a tummy tuck and then like they go in there and sew the muscle um but for somebody like myself who i just wanted lipo thank god that like i'm still like I, I, it still looks really good you know because most of the time you can't get away with just doing lipo you literally have to do a tummy tuck 
because they have to go in there and like sew your muscle from the inside to connect your stomach to make your abdominal like look really like snatched inside so that's honestly like if you're trying to get really technical but if you're wanting to do it honestly like i don't i don't care if you've had kids if you don't have kids if you are you know 21 or if you're 50 like if you want to do something just do it you know what i mean but i definitely need think you guys should definitely think about it if you're going to be having a lot of children in the process then don't waste your money just wait till you're done having kids and look snatched after you know like that's that's just how i see it um where did you get it and the name of your doctor so i got it in beverly hills and the name of my doctor was dr emil cohan i think it's emilio uh, Cohan, I will have his information linked down below. He was absolutely amazing. He made me feel super comfortable. My experience with him was amazing. I've had actually a lot of girls message me who are now going to be getting their surgery with him and just asking me about the overall experience. And um, he was an amazing doctor. Their team there was amazing and I felt really well taken care of. I never really felt like super scared. They definitely made me feel really calm. And um, the experience overall just was honestly really great and on top of that i am so happy that he did take up on the challenge on doing my body because i had spoken to a few doctors before him and nobody t basically they told me that there was no way that i could do a breast lift without an implant they told me that it was nearly impossible that i was not going to be able to get away with just a breast lift that i had no tissue it was all skin um and the lipo like all that stuff came after but the whole like breast area even him when he saw me for the first time he was kind of like oh like i don't know if we're going to be able to get away with it um but it's completely up to you if you want to take that risk you know and i was like let's just do it i was like i don't want an implant and i really 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 want my boobs to just look cute and perky i don't, I don't care how much tissue you have to remove just make my boobs look cute and up you know and when we took off the bandages he was like he literally was like I am so proud of myself. He's like, I'm so happy. He's like, I'm so glad that you said yes to just doing the breast lift because I'm so happy with how your results came. And I feel like it made him even feel a little more confident, like, okay, like I can take up on these challenges and make beautiful breasts without an implant because not everybody wants an implant. And um, if you're somebody like me who does a lot of research on like a lot of shit that goes wrong, um, I am very familiar with breast implant illness and i just knew that my anxiety was not gonna be able to deal with it so i just wanted something cute and um yeah as far as like me regretting like not getting an implant i don't regret it at all i'm so happy with everything turning out the way that it did um i feel like the only thing that i honestly just genuinely regret from this whole experience was probably me being so vocal about it and i'm being completely honest with you guys right now and it, that's just because i feel like it made people like it had it gave people a reason to criticize me even more and that's just something that i guess i'm dealing with myself because i nobody told me to share it with you guys i decided to share this with you and i feel like it gave people kind of like the okay to critique me now and critique the outcome of it so a lot of people are very opinionated about oh your breasts are still saggy or oh you look the same or you're still fat or you look like you have a diaper butt or like i get comments all the time like literally every day regarding it and i feel like i get more comments now than i did before so i feel like that's something that now in the beginning i was like i want to show you guys that this is my journey this is what i'm going through and i feel like i'm i started kind of slowly regretting it and now i know why influencers don't share that they get work done because they get criticized even more um and like i said now people feel opinionated about how i look even after and i feel like that's something that people should never comment about and whether you got plastic surgery or not even before i got my plastic surgery nobody should have ever been commenting on my body telling me that i was fat or telling me so on and so forth like that's just a topic of conversation that should never be talked about um especially after somebody just gave birth to babies um and it's taken me a long time to get to this point where i'm just like okay like this is kind of what you just deal with but now with that being said i always said to myself like i never did this for anybody's approval like if somebody thinks that i overdid it then that's their opinion if somebody thinks that i didn't do it enough that's their opinion too because i literally 
looked exactly how I imagined myself to look like. Like I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like really happy with what I see. Like I feel like my boobs are so cute. Like I walk around my my room with Elisa's and I'm like, I'm so cute. I was like, look at my boobs. They're just standing up in the air. Do you like them? Ooh, you know, like I really feel, I'm happy. I feel happy with myself. And um, it sucks that people always have to feel like they need to voice an opinion and stuff, but that's just the territory that we signed up for, I guess. And people are just mean on the internet and I've slowly already realized that. But I feel like that's the only thing that I regret that I feel like those mean people take away from wanting to share experience, the experience with people who do want to see the experience, you know? Um, I sound like Kendall Jenner. We just want to experience things. <laughs> but that's that's literally like the only thing that I feel like was the downfall about this whole journey in general. So I don't blame influencers or celebrities or people in general for not wanting to share these things with people because now they feel like, well, why didn't you go bigger? Like, why didn't, why did your, why does your stomach still look like that? Or why does your boobs still sag? Or why do you, you know, like they start questioning those things and not realizing that maybe that's what the person wanted, you know, like maybe the person actually did want to look like that, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with everything. Like I said, um, I'm going to show you guys some before and after pictures just because I know that it's hard to really tell until you put things side by side. And I myself didn't even notice the difference until I put everything side by side. So as you guys can see, um, here on this side, I'm going to show you guys what I look like before. So you guys are going to see just the difference in, um, you can see like my stomach area. And like in the beginning, like I said, I didn't notice these things to me. I was like, okay, like I gave birth to two babies. I'm still cute, I guess. Like my body went through birth and you know it, it went back like I, I felt oh I felt okay about myself like I was not like ho like horribly like oh my god like bad about it like I felt like I still looked good you know after giving birth to my babies I didn't look like super skinny like I did before but um you know I gave birth to babies like I what did I expect my body to look like right um but you guys can see like the stomach area like it looks very bulgy I feel like that was my problematic area I'm trying to like find the video here this was um I had just lost 32 pounds in this picture and I had 15 more to go with Camila like I mentioned to you guys I was almost 200 pounds with her so my goal weight was around 140 130 um you guys can see in this video this is the video of the beauty creations event you can see how much my stomach actually even would hang I had a lot of hanging in my stomach and my boobs you can see that they're just very droopy and then in, in this next video this was literally after me getting like my body done and you guys can see just a bunch of pictures and stuff so now for the after as you guys can see here you guys can see how tight my stomach just looks um you can just see how everything just looks really in place my belly button looks tiny it doesn't look like there's a hole in there that you can poke through um my butt obviously looks a lot rounder and bigger my arms look a lot smaller um and i still have fat like oh, i haven't shaved my armpits but i still have fat like you guys can see like there's still some fat here but it was nothing like how it would hang before you know everything was done very very just soft and and then um you guys have never seen like the back of my butt like how it looks and stuff in round so i will show you guys how that looks here um, just to show you guys how the actual outcome of the roundness of my butt looks like so you can see That they really filled in those spots. So you guys can see here. I have very skinny legs um, Very very skinny legs. So I knew that if I did too much like way too much the ass to thigh ratio was going to be like way off so it is a little bigger than I thought but not to the point where I'm like regretting my life about it. I'm like mm, a little bit more cushion. Like Lisa slaps it and he's like yes, you know. So, um, and as far as like just more questions that you guys want to know, um, did it change my tattoos? It did not. It did not change my tattoos at all. Uh, do I still get my massages? I stopped doing my massages when the whole quarantine stopped, and I feel like that really threw me off. In the beginning, I started to swell and I started to just start feeling like my results were not how they were in the beginning but i started about a month ago going consecutively to get my lymphatic massages and my body literally looks so good like it looks like how it looks how it looked when i first got it done 
Um, so I feel like those are very important to keep up with because it does drain you. And even if you don't have your body done, just getting lymphatic massages really like tones your whole body. And you drink a lot of water and you pee all of like that out. If you guys want a whole video about that, like I would love to share that with you guys because even if you don't have your body done, you can do these massages and you'll feel like a bomb. Have my scars healed? Yeah, my scars have healed. I had an anchor scar, which means that they slice right to the bottom and then they slice the bottom of the actual breast. They pull it, they move the nipple up and then they create the nipple and make it smaller or whatever, you know? The scarring has healed amazing. It looks like a pretty like a little small like pink color. I don't think it'll ever just dissolve completely. I think it's always gonna be there. It's just not gonna be as prominent. Like it's not gonna be super, super dark or anything. And um, my doctor did a very good job at doing a very thin like line and stuff. So he was very detailed, which is those are the things that I love that you notice, you know, once you get your body done, like you start noticing like, okay, like those little details that doctors do. Um, and I was in love with how he like did my boobs and my scar and everything. Um, do you ever think like your butt looks too fake? I don't actually, like I tell you guys, even when I'm wearing jeans or when I'm out in public, I definitely don't feel like people are staring at my butt or staring at like, oh my God, like she looks crazy or she looks weird. Like I feel like I look like any normal person walking around. I'm sure they'll notice, you know, like it doesn't look hella natural. Like it doesn't look like, oh my God, like she didn't get nothing. But I definitely think they'll probably question it. Like, oh, I wonder if she did, but I wonder if she didn't, you know? Um, my recovery was about two weeks, but total about three to four months to really like notice like I'm barely starting to notice like everything just looking the way that it's looking um, after how long can you sit on your butt they recommend about six weeks um, I used my booty pillow for a pretty long time um, because I'd actually would hurt for a little bit like I was like is this normal because I would sit on it and it felt weird like there was a lot of extra cushion and I'm like why does that feel that way um, so yeah, and then sometimes it, like, it would like pulsate, like it would like be pulsing and stuff. So there was like a lot of weird stuff that was happening to like my butt area that I was just kind of like, okay, I don't know if that's normal, but I guess it comes with the experience. <laughs> um, if I had, do you need and recommend for recovery? I will actually link a few of them down below that I loved. Everything that I used, I will link down below if any of you guys are getting plastic surgery or just want to find in general, I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, did it affect you not getting your lymphatic massages because of COVID? I really do feel like it um, did. I definitely feel like it um, made me swell. Um, you know, when you do your lymphatic massages, it's because you retain water. So I definitely feel like those were so crucial and so important. So I'm so sad that I wasn't able to get them. Like, I was really sad. I would literally try to, like, massage myself to see if, like, I can fix any solutions. And then I started seeing, like, I was retaining so much water. So now that I've been, like getting back into my like draining my body is getting back to normal like how it's supposed to be and i've been so happy with how everything's looking um are you loving it is your husband loving it we are both equally loving it very much loving it <laughs> i feel like the view just changed you know what i mean okay so as far as scars like for the actual liposuction the only scars that i have are two on my upper back and then i have two on my lower back or one in my lower back I'm trying to remember um oh, somebody was laughing it was louis um in my lower back and they're super super tiny then i have some in the front which you can't see those because um my tattoos are on there and honestly i feel like me myself like my body i feel like it naturally heals scars very well because even my scars from my uh gallbladder getting removed i had four holes i believe you can barely see them they're like literally non-existing like they're so 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 tiny and those healed like so good so i feel like maybe that's why you really can't see them because you put you don't seem like you have any scars but um yeah how long does it take for your bbl to completely heal and feel normal i feel like that process was pretty fast honestly um besides like the sitting part it felt pretty good it does feel a little heavy though to be honest with you there were times that i would walk and i'd be like oh my god i'm like i feel kind of heavy you know like it was it was weird and then the whole like boob things it took a while for me to get used to seeing my boobs look like that um because i was so used to seeing them the way that they were already after you know my babies and stuff um i saw after your pic with camila and your tummy looks tighter do they do they do something to it too um so i don't know exactly what that question is but my stomach does feel tight um i definitely feel like the j plasma did work 
Um, he did mention to me, my doctor as well, that if I wanted to go for a second round of J Plasma, I could. I definitely don't feel like I need it. I feel like it looks, you know, like the way that it's supposed to look. But it is something that I would definitely recommend it if, it's, if it's something that your doctor is telling you that would look great on your stomach. I feel like it would have been a less tighter if I would have just done lipo by itself because they go in there and they kind of like burn something in your stomach or something to like make your muscle just get tight again. Um, but you can see in the pictures like the tightness of what my stomach just kind of like looks like, you know. So I definitely feel like the J Plasma definitely worked um, for me at, at least. I feel like those were all pretty much the questions as far as like my overall experience guys um it was really great i'm so fortunate that i didn't have very many complications or anything like that i say very many like i had complications but i'm so happy that i actually didn't have complications or like anything serious happened to me um with any type of plastic surgery you're always going to be at some type of risk no matter what so definitely do your research you know try to make sure that your doctor is a board certified doctor um definitely do a lot a lot of research and just be patient you know don't rush things and don't just go do something because you feel like you need to go do it like really just do your research and that's honestly like the most that i can say but i'm honestly super happy with how everything turned out i um i'm glad that i'm you know doing this video for you guys now i definitely don't think that i'll be talking about like my experience with my bbl um, anymore after this video or anything like that as far as my overall experience it was great i'm so happy that i ended up doing it i don't regret it one bit and um you know i don't plan on having any more babies like i mentioned but if i do have a ba another baby then obviously that just it was meant to happen this way but i don't plan on having any more children so hopefully my body continues to stay the way that it does stay and just trying to maintain it and just make sure that I'm doing everything that I have to do because I do want to start like working out on my lower body to just make my legs look really nice and tight because my legs tone so well when I do like when I squat and stuff so I just want to make sure that everything just looks really nice and toned that's like the only thing that I'm really really working on right now and as far as like any of you guys who do not know in general what I asked for when I got my uh, body done it's not what I asked for but this is what you would ask for if this is what you want to do um, so I got 360 lipo all over my body, meaning that they lipoed every single area of my body that had visible fat that needed to be removed. Um, that being like my upper abdominal, lower abdominal, lower back, upper back. Um, and then they transferred all of that fat into my buttocks and made my, my butt just nice and browned. And then um, I did J Plasma, which they, you know, just make your skin just tight. This is something great for someone who has loose skin, who has lost weight, who has gone through birth and doesn't want a tummy tuck. And then I got a breast lift with no implant. So I'm like a solid C cup um, right now, naturally with just my tissue and stuff. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much my experience, guys, with my BBL journey. I know I usually have giveaways and I wish I could give you guys a giveaway of a whole ass new body, <laughs> but I can't, unfortunately. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a huge thumbs up. I will be having a giveaway. I will be giving one lucky winner $150. You can add that to your piggy bank. Um, I will be giving you guys $150 for this giveaway. All you guys have to do is comment down below and just basically let me know if you guys have any other questions or um, any video recommendations um, down below with just a cute comment. You can drop a little emoji or something with your PayPal on the side of it. That way I can pick a winner. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next one. Love you guys.